you guys, what's up? It's Warspur, and today I'm going to be going over some of the awesome software that came with my uh, new sound card that's provided by Republic of Gamers. They sent me that for free just to try out and test on various games that I have. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you some of the software here. Just going to be uh, test my mic with it, different settings, um, testing the sound with different settings and stuff like that. So hope you enjoy the video, guys. Here we go. Okay. Yo, guys, what's up? It's Warspur, and... I'm going to be using TeamSpeak here to test uh, different mic settings. We've got the test here going on to test um, different loudnesses. Uh, I don't know, just like gain settings of my mic. As you can see here, um, here's the software. We've got the Exoner Voibus software here. That's my sound card stuff. And we've also got Dolby Home Theater version 4, which came with the sound card as well um, on the disc on the software. Uh, really awesome piece of software. As you can see here, we've got the game settings for when I'm gaming. This like high frequencies here using this little thing Dynam dynamically enhances high frequencies, sort of things like footsteps and uh, footsteps, sorry, and gun sounds. Um, and then we've got music settings and movie settings, movie like sort of boosts um, and those media player and stuff. And I'm sitting watching movies and stuff. That's cool. Um, music is beastin' for listening to music. Uh, I've got some music and stuff I'll show you later on. Uh, first thing we're going to do is be looking at our mic settings. Um, so we've got our mic here and different like settings up top here. Some stuff to relate to certain games like Sound Radar and X Ear 3D, but not many games have them these days, so they don't really do anything. We've got volume control and we've also got sample rate here. I'm not really going to change anything, this, anything here because it just messes up my sound um, using the standard default settings for my uh, sort of stuff. Um, we can enable mic echo, uh, mic echo, if we want. Put that on. You can clearly hear the uh, mic echo over there. Uh, it's sort of crazy. Um, so we don't want really, really don't want that on. Sort of if you're like a, a musician or something, you're singing, you want a little bit of echo when you're singing. Um, so we don't want that on. We've got magic voice. Uh, we can switch this on. <laughs> we can turn into a monster. Uh, we can turn into Quartz. Um, uh, wow. I don't even know if you can still understand me. Um, a male. Apparently my voice isn't manly enough, uh, so it decides to turn it down a little bit, a little bit deeper. And right. we can go, uh, female. Although it just sounds a little bit freaky. Not like 100% female. <laughs> so we're not going to use that unless you're wanting to. Uh, uh, mess with people on like TeamSpeak or something. Um, so then we've got here, which is environmental noise cancellation, and that uses the little control box on the like the little control box that connects to your sound card and then connects to your headset. Um, using that, you can it's got a little mic on it and it can detect sound and like cancel out. So I've got that point towards my window right now to cancel out sound from outside. Um, switching that off, you're probably not going to hear much difference, but like it is noticeable in uh, certain situations. But I just like to keep that on. That's on my profile. Uh, microphone boost, we can just the loudness on my mic um, and stuff like that. But I just leave that at 20 there. Um, that's basically all the mic stuff. Uh, it's good. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff. Like, uh, especially the whole voice changer thing. I never found that before. Uh, it's really hilarious. Um, so I've unplugged the mic from my headset and I'm using the mic on the control box right now. Uh, it actually sounds really pretty good. Um, I've got the beam forming here on, so it's basically there's a cone um, just basically picking up sound. It's pointing towards my mouth, so it's only picking up the sound from my mouth. It's not picking up any sound from the surrounding, no sound from my window or anything like that. Uh, it's picking that up. Obviously, if we disable that, um, it's going to pick up just sound, any sound that's going into the mic from anywhere. It's going to pick up that sound and enable on that again. Picking up from my mic. So that is uh, how the mic sounds from my control box, which is pretty insane. It's a pretty good quality mic. Um, obviously, it's hard to find a spot for this on my desk. Point it so the cone is pointing towards my mouth if I actually wanted to use it. But I guess it's good for people who don't actually have a mic on their headset or they're like using earphones or something. Um, you can buy a sound card and get a mic with it. Pretty sweet, no? <laughs> um, so yeah. And basically, if you're like list playing a game and you're on TeamSpeak or something, and like you're playing through the game through your speakers, so you've got sound coming out your speakers, uh, you don't want people on TeamSpeak to be able to hear that. 
So you've got this cone of sound that's pointed towards your mouth. So basically, it's not picking up any game sounds. It's picking up just from your mouth. Uh, that's pretty cool if you wanted to play out your speakers. So yeah, nice, nice piece of software, well, hardware even. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, moving on. If we're going to look at some of the some of the headphone settings now, we can see we can change the volume of each ear for your headset. Um, and go to headset settings. We can left front. Let the little woman text right it for us. Front. Right front. There you go. Um, we can also change the whatever boost left front on the mic depending on like the resistances. Um, right I'm not really front. sure about that stuff. To be honest. Um, we select game tuning according to your usage scenario or matching headphone impedance. So basically, the impedance of your headset. Uh, left front. I check what my head uh, right actually front. is. Left front. Um, right but like, as you can see, it just sort of boosts the volume of your mic. Um, so we've got headset settings, sample rate again, uh, environmental effects. We can enable this. Uh, pretend we're in the shower. You guys, what's up? This worst part, I'm currently taking a shower. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, so we can do that. See all this. I see room. We've got massive shower, guys. Massive shower. Small shower. Small shower. <laughs> uh, so we did with that. Uh, obviously, I feel like here there's so many different ones, but that's just basically. I think everyone gets them on their computer anyway already. Um, and when those sounds end somewhere, you'll find it somewhere. The X here thing. We can change the pitch. Oh my voice. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, awesome. Um, you can also, I think, like fade out vocals from like sounds from like singing or something. Um, doesn't really seem to make much here with the mic, but I'll test that later when I've got music playing. Um, I'll put that back to normal just now. Okay. Um, enable X gear surround. That disables the whole Dolby Home Theater and it adds a little bit of echo, pretending you're in a room. If we play here. Left front, right front, left back surround, right back surround, center. Yeah, you can see uh, different sounds. Again, room size. Uh, yeah, see all that. I like uh, how Dolby makes things sound better, to be honest. Um, Especially for gaming, so it's siren, and then this is just launching this here. Um, awesome. So put that back to his profile, gaming profile for me. Um, here we've got some other stuff, depending on like what you've got in your computer. I don't really, I don't need to use any of this stuff. Uh, speakers as well. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> Let's go mess around with some sounds. Where is it? Next gear. So we're gonna go watch one of my latest commentaries. Watch this. Yo guys, what's up? It's Morsper, and today I'm just doing a, a standard YouTube gameplay commentary. Um, first off, I would uh, like to apologise for the audio quality in the last video that I uploaded. That was the GSD. To these two tournament updates, whatever it was, round six or something. Oh, um, yeah, video six. The audio quality in that was sort of disastrous. I believe I've solved the problem and I'll be checking this video anyway to make sure the audio is all good. But uh, last time it was a problem with my mic, like it was boosted too loud or something on like um, the sound card software thing. So ended up being all like crackly and shit and overall the video volume was a bit too loud and like probably compared to other sound systems or other other applications on your computer um, watching my video you probably would have blown your eardrums out or something like that so if anyone who is currently deaf and uh, watching this video um, you're not going to be able to hear the apology so sorry about that <laughs>
There we have it. Good little look at all the source software. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you later. Sweet.